Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to break down all of the latest content inside Hockey Ultimate Team. We've got new prime times, we've got a new 95 overall play of the year card, and we've also got some weird new pack in the store for Valentine's Day, and I don't really think it's valuable to open with coins, but I'll try it because, hey, uh, you know, why not? I'll be the guinea pig here. Guys, as always, if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe for the most up-to-date news, tips, and info. All right, let's get into the video. All right, the first cards we'll take a look at are the five new Tuka Ras cards, the 92 overall. Um, you know, obviously celebrating his career, he did retire, which just feels like the end of an era, especially for Bruins fans. We'll take a look at his card. All of the abilities stay the same, so he just have light work and gold post to post. And in all honesty, that's probably the best combo for goaltenders in the game. I talked about that in a prior video. Gold post to post is the most absolutely overpowered ability in the game. It's become clear that uh, it has the power to uh, essentially completely change the outcome of a game online. So. Definitely something that you want. He is six foot three. That's the same as Carey Price, so you can definitely get away with using him. The only thing that changes between the five different Tuka Rask cards is the synergies that he has. So, again, that's all going to depend on your team, I guess. But he is an extremely good card uh, just in terms of stats. So he's got 99 glove low, 99 stick low, so that, that, glove, that blocker side... Uh, just going to be phenomenal as well. Speed's up at 89. Positioning is 98. Um, his glove high is 89, which is a little bit lower. But at 92 overall, this is a really good goaltender card. And it's all going to depend what you're going to be able to get him for. I mean, if you got to spend 100k, really wouldn't do it. But this one, for example, is up to 72. So I would just go go through, take a look. I mean, 70,000, I really wouldn't spend on a goaltender, to be honest with you. But if you're hut rich or it's like the last thing that you're trying to find is that one piece uh, to finish off your team. Or maybe you're a Tuka Rass fan, uh, definitely there is a version of him that is going for about 72, 73,000 coins. That might be the one for you. All right, now taking a look at today's prime times, we've got the 84 Robbie Fabry with Booming Shot and Gladiator. And I'm not going to lie, for anyone that is just starting out the game, if you can get this 84 overall card for the bare minimum that 84s are going for, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 92 agility, that's not awful in all honesty. He's a little bit smaller, and obviously the rest of his stats aren't very good either. But for the bare minimum price, this isn't an awful card. Um, one that you will replace rather quickly. But again, if you're looking for just any usable left-handed winger, let's say you've got silvers or, you know, 75 or 79 overall gold players, this is a fine replacement. Then we've got the 84 Elliot Denoye, 5'11", would light the lamp well-rounded. You're really not going to activate that. Same kind of situation. He's got 89 speed, 89 acceleration, and 96 agility. This is one of those cards that I mentioned before that because they start out with such weird stats down when they're silvers, when they get bumped up to, like, 84, some of their stats kind of explode and you see the shot power there 97 um there is is very good but the problem is that accuracy is the most important thing for wingers really it's more important than power in my opinion that's down in the 70s so definitely a card that looks interesting but yeah this would be an avoid for me then we've got the 87 overall michael backland from calgary with thief as well as applesauce and fly the zone thief does make him pretty interesting he's gonna have really good defensive stats he's got 90 speed 88 acceleration um uh, again centerman while you're building up your team is kind of a really hard position to fill because there isn't just uh, there isn't very many great ones and honestly this is a pretty decent one 87 overalls going for about 30k which is a little expensive but honestly he's one of the better ones in that range so not a bad option here with the 87 michael backland we've also got the 87 jacob markstrom he's got butterfly effect but he is six foot six 74 aggression the bigger goaltenders still have a place in this game it's not all about goal post to post and if you can't afford one of those the only issue here is that he is 87 overall so you're paying 30k um you know I, jacob markstrom cards last year were phenomenal i just think that unless he's got some crazy abilities or goal post to post, I think it might just be time to move on from these type of cards. I mean, Koskinen or the more expensive master set ones, I can kind of get on board with, but that's because their stats are so high. Speed at 80 overall is just really tough. Basically, every one-timer is going to go in, uh, but if you are looking for a goaltender, you like Jacob Markstrom, he is a very good card uh, in the sense of just like, he's He's huge. Then we've got the 88 overall, Mark Stahl. If you would have told me that Mark Stahl would get up to an 88 with prime times and team of the week, so I would have uh, laughed in your face. But regardless, six foot four, 86 speed, 86 acceleration. There's just no way to really use that this at, at this point, guys. You have to be exceptional at defending the rush and really know how to play with this kind of card uh, to be able to use it and not just get burned down the wing. We're at the stage where every card is essentially, or every team has over 90 speed. 
and you're just going to get killed with 86s, and that's if you activate the synergy. So this would be an instant uh, fire into sets for the 88 mark stall. Then we've got the 89 Jason Robertson, six foot two, former Niagara Ice Dog, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. He's got great size, but his speed is just kind of low. However, his hand stats are good. Shooting's above 90. I just is a pure left-handed winger. Like at 89 overall, I'd much rather just have the base Connor McDavid. Like he's gonna cost you in the 40,000, 45,000 coin range. I just don't see that being enough uh, value in return for the price tag. So this would be a set card for me. Then we've got the 90 overall, Alex Dabrink. It would light the lamp as well as Magician and Applesauce. He's got elite edges, which I do like as a superstar ability. 93 speed, 93 acceleration, and 94 agility. Shot, wrist shot accuracy gets up to 99. Hand stats are almost max. This is a really fun skating card, but again, he's just an absolute liability in his own zone uh, at 5'7 and 77 body checking. Like He is going to get thrown off the puck. Um, but it isn't terrible to have one of these cards on your team as they are a lot shiftier because they are have a lot smaller stride. They can make those cuts really easily. Here's the thing I wanted to point out, guys. So the 90 Alex to bring it, like I'm going to mention this as a couple cards. So right now, 60,000 coins would be to get the 90 Alex to bring it. And honestly, he'll probably fall. Here's my issue with X factors like this. So I've mentioned don't get this X factor or he falls into that tier of X factors that aren't worth it. Worth it. It costs 70,000 just to go from the 90 to 91 and he's going to have basically 80 96 acceleration, 94 speed and you know silver wheels and that's it. Whereas I would rather have elite edges to be honest with you. Um just you know the extra synergies are nice but why would you pay that much when you could just go out and get the you know the 90 overall card? I just don't really see you know uh, the the reason to do that, but you know it's up to you guys. It's just something that I would I would be on the lookout for. Mark Andre Fleury also gets a 93, six foot two, does have gold post to post, and his stats are pretty high. I think that. Six foot two is still a little too small. I think that's where the cutoff is. However, guys, let me know in the comments section if you've used Marc Andre Fleury or any goaltender with six foot two with gold post to post because this ability is completely broken. And I hope its ability points get changed to something like ten uh, because yeah, it's really impacting the game in my opinion negatively. I do like that it makes smaller goaltenders a little bit more viable, but for four points, it's just way too cheap. So um, we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And then we've got the play of the year, ninety five. Overall, Matthew Kachuk, 95 overall, still can't hit 90 speed. I, like, I, he can't be this slow in real life, and I don't know. Anyways, it's tricky. One of the worst zone abilities you can get in the game. I hope if they do adjust ability points that this goes down to two because there's really no reason to ever activate it. Close quarters I do like, however. 89 speed, 91 acceleration. Like, the cost to get him right now, there's one up on the market for 350,000 coins. No shot that sells. In all honesty, he probably falls to like 150,000 coins. And, you know, everything else is amazing. Like, you can have slow wingers. Don't get me wrong. It's for 150,000 coins, though, is kind of what I'm alluding to. Like, there's no reason where you wouldn't just go and get a better left-hand winger. Like, low-key, I'd probably rather have the base Connor McDavid than this card. It just doesn't offer enough of a benefit for spending the amount of coins to get this, unless you're a Matthew Kachuk fan, which is fine. I mean, if you're a Calgary fan, definitely. Uh, but again, this kind of falls into that same boat what I was talking about with X-Factors, where it costs now 125,000 coins to go from 94 to 95. Like, and he still only has one skating ability. So just a huge avoid for me, guys. Uh, you know, I, I hope that they find a way to make these a little bit better next year and a little more usable. I think they take the skating a little too far on some of these guys. Um, I mean, it's not even like he's six foot six or anything. So, uh, but there is the 95 Matthew Kachuk now. All right. And in the store, there is some weird new pre Valentine's day, early lovebird pack. It is untradeable. It is 55,000 coins. It comes with 14 items. It has at least seven players, a power-up collectible, and a guaranteed 83-plus overall player item. Now, the power-up collectible is worth like 25 to 27,000 coins. So that's half the price right there. And if you take a look at the pack probabilities, you got 23% to pull an 86-plus. I still don't think that this is worth it, but you know what? I Like I said in the intro... I will do my due diligence for you guys and rip it with coins, and we'll see how painful that this truly is. As So a 76, that's worth about 800 coins. Another 800, you know, silver jerseys, like 250, 300, another. And bang, an 83 overall Karol Kaprizov. That's like 3K or 4K. Power-up collectible. 
And I doubt we will pull anything else. A lot of silver cards. Oh, Shark's Goalie Mask is actually a pretty big win for me. Yeah, guys, for the love of God, do not buy this pack with coins. It is a scam. Do not buy it. Absolutely not. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.